We always say go with NVIDIA if you're gonna be streaming, but is that still true in 2024? In today's video, we're gonna put together a $500 PC using an AMD graphics card and show you guys, is live streaming on AMD still as bad as people say it is? We're about to find out after a word from today's sponsor. Finding good deals is always a hassle, especially when you're looking at used parts and you have to worry about their condition, authenticity, and more. If you want an amazing marketplace to shop for deals on all sorts of hardware and even full builds, you need to check out Jawa.gg. Jawa is an online community-driven marketplace where gamers buy and sell all kinds of PC hardware for amazing prices. For example, this Radeon RX 6600, an Intel i5 12600KF gaming PC for only $699 is a great find. And if you're in the market for an upgrade or just trying to snag some parts used for a build you're planning, Jawa is the place to shop when they have deals like this RX 6700 for just $240. And you can shop with confidence on Jawa knowing that all their listings are digitally moderated. Jawa reviews each part of rig listed to make sure it meets their standards. If you're interested in learning more about the number one place to buy and sell gaming computers, GPUs, consoles, and all your gear, head over to Jawa.gg today or check out the links in the description. Big thanks to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So guys, we wanted to keep this build nice and cheap. 500 bucks for a streaming and gaming PC. It's honestly pretty hard to do, but we got the i3-1200F, which is a four core, eight thread processor, and we are gonna be using a different cooler than the stock cooler, which is pretty sufficient for it. We wanted to have some bling. This is the SC214 XT ARGB, which will allow for some cooler temps which should get us a little bit higher boost speeds, which is gonna be really important for streaming. For the motherboard, we have this MSI Pro B760MP. So this is a micro ETX board, and it's honestly a pretty decent board. The fact that it's a 760 means you can go up to 14 gen with no problems, and you actually do get four RAM slots, two four pins for the CPU. This one is the DDR4 version, so make sure you get the DDR4 version if you're gonna get DDR4 RAM. You could get DDR5, but that really won't help you with streaming a ton. And speaking of RAM, we got these two sticks right here. This is some Team Group T-Force RAM. It is just black RAM and it's 16 gigs total, two by eight. So that means you get dual channel, 3200 megahertz. So you do have a little bit of overclock ability in this RAM as well. And this is honestly some of the cheapest stuff you can get. And for storage, we got this Team Group 512 gig NVMe M.2 SSD. We love these because NVMe means you get some pretty fast Gen 3 speeds and they just plug right into the board, so no cables. Now the star of this PC build, the RX 6600 from PowerCar. This is actually a used one we picked up on eBay for $149. On the new market, you can find this card around $170 to $180, which is a very fair price. And in today's video, we will be comparing it to the RTX 3050, the NVIDIA card that is priced very similarly to this to see if the live stream performance is worth it. But all in all, this is a really good budget card. And with the newer features that AMD has been pushing for live streaming, it does work well with this card. It'll be a great example of how live streaming is with AMD. You guys could have guessed it. This is kind of our go-to over the past few months on Amazon. This is the MSI MAG A550BN 550 watt power supply. A plus bronze gets the job done. Done. If you want more wattage, we do like the Seagotep 650 units as well, but these are really reliable units that do really well for this build, and 550 watts is plenty for this PC build. Now, big shout out to Zalman for sponsoring the case portion of today's video. This is the Zalman P10, which is a very awesome budget case they just released on the market. They wanted to take the fish tank style case and make it more budget friendly with one included RGB fan, a really nice aesthetic. It's basically a more compact version of the P30, which is a very popular case that we built in on the channel many times, and they did so with pretty proper ventilation, good tempered glass all the way around. And at a price point of $70, you really can't complain. Now we'll probably be adding some basic black fans to this to improve the airflow a little bit, but it does come with that one RGB fan in the back. So you are good to go there. And overall, it's a pretty cool design. A ton of ventilation on the back as well. It'll pull in a bunch of air from this back panel. The only trade-off is that there is no intake fans from this location right here. We will be doing some temperature testing and I wouldn't really recommend for super high-end builds to go with this case. That's what the P30 is for. But for budget builds, it'll get the job done and I'm very excited to see how it works for this PC. So let's not waste any more time, put this build together, and then get through some live streaming testing to see what the 6600 is capable of and versus it versus the 3050.
as you guys can see, we have turned our benchmark setup into, oh God, what I just step on? Anywho. John is leaving his toys around again. Leaving his toys everywhere, his naughty toys. But we have our stream setup going here. You can see the settings we are currently running. We're using the AMD hardware encoder, H264 ABC. These are the optimized settings based on a couple tutorials I saw online. Pretty high um, bit rate too. Pretty high bit rate. Basically Twitch's max bit rate. We are gonna be streaming to Twitch. Obviously with YouTube, the quality will be slightly different. But from our experience, Twitch has slightly better stream quality. So we're gonna get the maximum out of this. And uh, yeah, we're running OBS, a very basic OBS scene with the 6600 and we will be live streaming to our Toasty Bros bot. Don't go follow it. I mean, you can follow it if you want to, but we'll only be streaming there occasionally. So Jack's gonna play some Apex. I'm gonna play Should the finals. And uh, yeah, we'll go live. Go live, let's see. <laughs> I'm so scared. And we are now streaming, baby. And the fun part of this video too is normally we would not recommend a $500 PC for streaming. So it's kind of the, the point of this here. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, the cloud, so this should get better, but this is again, not just a 6600 AMD test. It's really a $500 PC with an i3 for live streaming, which is bare bones entry level for newer parts. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that does in the long run, but we are now streaming. So let's go ahead and switch over to the stream test with AMD first. All right, so we're getting um, 130 FPS. We are getting some stutters here and there, but honestly, I was I was slightly, I, I really did worry about AMD too much for, God, that guy had a laser. I was I was a little more worried about AMD than I should have been, I think, because I think they've gotten a lot better than back, you know, during like 5,000 series streaming. And again, we really didn't try it much because we were just always told, like NVIDIA, NVIDIA, you gotta go NVIDIA if you wanna stream, but here we are in a $500 AMD PC streaming. Pistol. Oh my glob. <laughs> oh god. Why is my grenade coming back toward- Oh my god, that was so bold of them. Oh, there's two points now. So it is kind of hard point. Gibby, get out of here! Oh, his bubble shield. Oh my god, oh my god, did the Mosey beat get buffed? Open! Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my good golly gee, this thing sucks. We lost. Well, that was Apex Legends. I guess we'll uh, go ahead and try another game. We'll keep the stream going. Alright guys. Finales. We are on lower settings. 1080p using a little FSR action on display capture because for some reason game capture won't work with this game. I am noticing a lot of webcam lag right now. Oh, oh. Hey guys, Future Matt here. Yes, what you're seeing right here is a webcam freezing up and it's freezing up because, well, we think the i3-12100. Well, yes, you can live stream with an i3 and there are a lot of games you can live stream with an i3. The games are decided to test with the final specifically, which is a very CPU and GPU bound esports title. It's causing the webcam to lag up a bit and we're really pushing this $500 streaming PC to the limits. Obviously, this is worst case scenario when it comes to live streaming, doing a $500 build. But hey, proof of concept, you guys can see that the Finals is a game that won't ideally run on any of the hardware with the i3, but if you bump it to like an i5-12400F, I'd be willing to bet most of those issues will go away. So yes, that's why you're seeing the desync there and uh, yeah, the limitations of a $500 stream. I don't know if that's just the OBS preview or not. We'll see what the actual final recording looks like. We don't have anyone from Twitch to give us a uh, live feedback, so we'll see what it looks like in the final recording. Well, Where'd you go, where'd you go? Hmm. Deploying a surprise for you, young. Uh, assist. I'm definitely maxing out the I3 in this game. Oh my god. I thought that was an enemy. My platform now. <laughs> I'm on fire, guys! This guy's back again. Goodbye. I want you! Yeah. What? I did put the. I did put the. Oh! So uh, that was the finals on the 6600. So now that we've run the test on both games with this setup, let's switch to a 3050 and see if that GPU with the NVIDIA encoder is actually that much better for live streaming. 
All right guys, we have the RTX 3050 installed, ready to go, new drivers, and we're gearing to do another live stream test running the similar settings. This time we're using the NVENC encoder. Let me go ahead and show you guys the settings in OBS. So our OBS stream settings are the NVENC encoder. We're running a constant bit rate of 8,000 kilobits per second, two keyframe intervals, slow quality P5. And uh, yeah, these are just generally good settings for live streaming using the NVENC encoder. So we'll be ready to go and let's see what the live streaming test looks like. All right. This is the same map too. This is great. Oh, but there's better classes now. Man, this is a this is a direct comparison. So FPS wise, it actually, funny enough, is same, but it is smoother. Yeah, one thing I'm definitely uh, yeah noticing off the rip is just gameplay feels a little bit smoother. I think the stream, at least the preview, looks a lot smoother, a good amount. So, where the heck did they come from? Oh, there's two. Yeah. Oh, I can't get up there. Oh, but he fell for me. This is great. What well, does Sigma? Apex was definitely, um, I'm gonna say like, well, we'll have to watch the stream back, but it felt like it was probably about 10 to 15% better streaming wise. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let's try the finals. All right, guys. We're um, on the 3050 in the finals running the same settings. And uh, same issue, game capture's not working. I don't know why, but we're doing display capture and we'll see um, if we have any issues. I will say, I am looking right now at Twitch. Twitch says we're unstable at the moment with our live stream. Feels so, stable. Feels stable, but something is happening on the two Twitch sides. So we'll see what that looks like. Realistically, the recording we're doing and the stream will look almost identical, but we just wanna, you know, actually stream because you guys are like, well, it's a recording, it's not a stream. I was like, well, you know what, fine, whatever. It's the same encoding settings, one's just going to the internet. Before we were getting like 80, 90 FPS dips down into the 60s and 70s and some high octane offense. So uh, we'll see what happens. Keep me alive, guys. Nope, sorry. Oh, this guy's just, oh, this guy's just sitting. This guy's like, ah, it's over. I'm taking a break. I'm gonna take a break from no victory royale, baby. Let's catch on fire again. Um, hey, there's the finals. We'll have to compare the footage, guys, and see what the difference is. All right, guys, so we just got done streaming on the same PC, but with an RTX 3050 in one test, and then of course the RX 6600 in the other test. And really the main takeaway that we noticed was the 3050 stream had a little bit better quality, but we would like to know from you guys down below, do you think that Nvidia is still the way to go no matter what for streaming, or do you think AMD actually has a chance now? And when it comes to budget options, these being the newest budget options, they are last gen technically, so some of the newer gen hardware could be even better, but these are sub $200 graphics cards you can pick up pretty easily. And in that category with a budget CPU, we think both are pretty acceptable. And it's really cool to see for $500, you can live stream either way, AMD or Nvidia in esports titles have a pretty good experience. So if you wanna build this PC yourself, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links, and they will help us out. Let us know what you think of this PC build down below. And if you're getting into live streaming, are you going Nvidia? Video or AMD. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye And speaking of streaming, over at PCRose.tech, we have quite a few different options if you would like to get into streaming yourself. Pre-built gaming PCs to get you up and running, so you don't have to worry about picking out the PC parts you want. You get straight to live streaming with the PC Bros Gaming PC. You just go to Toasty Bros 2 and check out. You'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.